What's going on everybody? Brad here, back with another toy review, taking a look at the Isosorna capture pack from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection, featuring this awesome engine vehicle, Roland Tembo himself, and a juvenile Parasaurolophus for some reason. And this is uh, this was a Beyond the Gates item, which you were able to pick up on Target.com. You pre-ordered it a few months back, or however long ago it was, and now it is actually in stores. So if you want this, if you missed out on it before, it is here at Target in person on the shelves. Go check it out. Um, so like I said, this is a Legacy Collection item. It's got varying degrees of styles going on here. You've got this uh, stainless steel metal look vibe with the Legacy Collection. You've got the game trail back on the, the box here. And then when we flip this over, it's like, it's kind of like the old school style of Legacy Collection in those small, you know, the, uh, the humans always came in those small packs. It looked a lot like this. I think some of the other packs did as well. But this background is very much like the Dino Rivals orange and, uh, you know, scratched metal look. It's pretty, I think it's identical to that. So I'm like wondering, when did this box get put together? <laughs> What's the deal here? What's the story behind this item? Was this supposed to come out sooner? I don't know. But uh, another thing to notice, I like this little image here of uh, Roland chasing down this Parasaurolophus. Also, who's driving? No one. There's no one in the driver's seat there. Uh, so that's pretty fun. But uh, like I said, you can pick this up. You can also pick up these items down here as well in stores currently. The Pachycephalosaurus, the Cosmoceratops, and that Velociraptor from the Legacy Collection, uh, I guess. Um, I don't remember seeing that. Uh in a movie or anything, but uh, you know, who knows? Um, this is, uh, it's, it's got the Jurassic World Facts app, so you can scan the back of, uh, yeah, I guess it is on the back of this. Yeah, there's like a piece that you peel off right here. I can't really grab it. But um, this is a fun pack. I am very, very excited to unbox it. Roland Tembo is one of my favorite characters from the entirety of the Jurassic franchise. I love the character. I think it's so well done. Pete Postlethwaite did a fantastic job. He's gotten a few figures before, or, uh, you know, at least one. And, um, you know, to varying degrees, he looked less like him at first, and then they kind of updated it to look more like him. This looks fantastic. Can't wait to dive in. So what do you say we unbox this thing? All right, so there it is completely unboxed. We've got uh, just this this entire setup, just like in the image here. I wanted to kind of uh, get that sense of speed and destruction as like, you know, nobody's driving this thing. So Roland is a little unhinged in toy form, but uh, let's dive into, let's first look at this since it's, uh, you know, standalone. We have uh, this juvenile Parasaurolophus here. So I wanted to take a quick look at the eyes here, if I can get this thing to focus. Let's see. All right, so there you can see the eyes look good. Pretty good on that side, I think. Um, interesting little paint job. I'm actually fine with the paint job. I think it looks good. Could use some extra detail on the claws and, and nails and stuff or whatever. Uh, but this side on the eyeball, not too great. Now this is the side that was visible. Not too great there. But that's okay, I'm not usually too picky when it comes to those things. You do have the DNA scanner piece in the back here. Another interesting feature, you know, I don't necessarily love these tabs, and I think they'll probably break off fairly easy for a lot of kids playing, but, you know, they're fun. I know my son always loved the scannable feature on the foot. I think that was a better implementation because it was not as obstructive as this. You know, we didn't have to have a separate a uh, tab or a separate indentation or anything so i'd much more would rather the one on the the foot but um i'll have to ask my son sometimes see what time see which one he kind of likes more so than the others um but here is this one let's take a look let's take a uh let's take a closer look at the vehicle now so we have roland in the vehicle here this is a pretty fantastic looking vehicle i love this this tire that is just embedded into the truck. Uh, that's pretty cool. The tires themselves look pretty great. They've, they're very rugged. 
Um, you've got this part that kind of goes in and out and the button there to eject, eject those Cedo. Uh, there you go. Got a, a gas can on the back, lights, stickers, uh, engine logos all over this thing. You know, it's not a one for one recreation from the film. Got some nice gears and things underneath. Um, it's not a one for one creation from the film. We'll probably take a look at that in the video. But um, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good, uh, you know, interpretation of it. You know, it's, it's not too, too bad. Got some lights up top. Um, and then inside, which we'll, we'll try to get a closer look at, but they do have like the steering wheel and stuff like that. There is a, um, like, you know, a, a whole computer screen here for him to track down those dinosaurs and shoot these missiles. Uh, let's take a look at this missile launcher. Cause like, what other way do you want to capture dinosaurs than launching missiles at them? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Roland's driving up. He's like, where? Where's Elvis? You know, wh where is he? Here he, oh, here he is right here. Boom, nailed him. So it came with three of these little launchers. You got a few of them. So pretty easily just stuck in here. I say pretty easily, but can't do it with one hand. All right, let's figure out their best way to go in there. All right, how about that way? Nope, not that way. Well, I was wrong about pretty easily. It pretty easily went in the first time I tried it, but uh, what the heck? What is going on here? Okay, all right, so there we go. Got it again. Um, boom, wow, that is forceful. All right, so let's see, I think it had to go with the it has three different perforations, or not perforations, uh, you know, things sticking out there on the bottom. You see that? It does not have one on the top. So I think the bo it goes towards the bottom with the one that is empty on the top going towards the top. There you go. Pretty easy. So, boom. That was a good hit. Direct hit. Um, let's take a closer look at Roland Tembo himself. Very interested to see this one up close. So there you go. That is pretty fantastic. I think that face is spot on. It looks just like him. It is a perfect representation of the character. Um, I'd have to take a look at his clothes exactly to see how they how they match up. But um, I'm very, very happy with it. It's not the wild, uh, you know, Roland that we saw from the Kenner line, but it's still a very, very awesome representation. He's got a uh, a watch on he's got this jacket it's a little flimsy in here so that's that's cool it's very jacket like um you know it doesn't connect to the sleeves but that that is awesome that is very cool he does not come with a, you know a, a weapon or anything like that roland is is definitely known for hunting the rex that's that's what it wants to take down but it has nothing to hunt it with outside of a missile launcher so you know <laughs> got to get pretty close to that thing i think um but this is this is great this is great. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at some other items to compare them to. All right, so Roland is standing off there in the distance. I had a hard time standing him up. It took me quite a while to find the right position. Um, outside of him kind of leaning forward and stuff like that. So hopefully this is it. I mean, it looks like it's working well, but uh, not very easy to get standing up. So on the other hand, this is uh, the Roland figure that I have from the Kenner days. Now, this toy line from the Lost World was probably, you know, some of my favorite toys ever. Um, I love this figure so, so much. Of course, he does not look anything like like face face wise he does not look anything like roland uh this is the t-rex turner version he looks identical to t-rex turner um even you know his hat and everything is that his outfit is fairly similar um you know design wise but not the uh not with the dragon face on there um but i love this so much it's such a wild representation and it gives it so much character so much uh backstory um, you know, this one's great. It is it is the movie, but, like, he doesn't have that backstory and that I, I can't help but, like, love this one so much more because of it. 
but I know there were other iterations that looked much more like Pete Postlethwaite, so uh, check those out when you get the chance. But uh, look at how much bigger, you know, he is. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this to stand there. Nope. I'll lean him up against him. Yes, a much smaller figure. I uh, I tend to tend to like these ones a lot more just because of the size, but uh, you know. I love amassing a collection of the three and three quarter inch figures, despite not really loving that scale. And there you go. There's a decent look at the two of them together. Um, definitely like the sculpt on the new one more, but the overall aesthetic of this one more. Now, I wanted to take a quick look at this vehicle here. I forget what the name was and all that stuff, but this is essentially the same, same toy, but from the Kenner days from the Lost World. It had that... You know, that seat that came out there, it had launchers and nets and stuff. Like, this was a net grabber catcher thing. So, very similar vehicle. This is what it was supposed to be showing off is that same, you know, uh, capture vehicle. Here we go. Here's a new one. Size-wise, I mean, fairly identical. So, that's pretty interesting. Um, if anything, this one might be a little bit bigger, actually. So, that's pretty crazy. I did not expect it to be that bulky and big. Because this has always been a bigger, you know, a, a pretty beefy car. Um, obviously, I'm missing a bunch of parts. I uh, don't have this front front fender here and the sidecar part that, that uh, goes out or the launcher or the net or anything like that. Um, but uh, this is always one of my favorite ones. And you also do have, uh, you know, computer stuff on the dash there as well. So, such a great vehicle. Maybe we could connect them. Make them, make them one. There we go. Now they are one vehicle, <laughs> but uh, pretty comparable. I love these two together. This is great. This is a great lineup. So there we have it. That is the Isla Sorna capture pack here with the Parasaur Olifice, Roland Tembo, and this awesome in-gen vehicle. Fantastic set. Absolutely awesome. This is perfect. When I saw this pop up on Beyond the Gates, I was just floored. So definitely go pick this one up in the stores. You can find it at Target right now. It's a must-have set. So definitely pick this one up. Enjoy it. Put it on the shelf. Play with it. Who cares? Have a good time. This is an awesome set. Thank you so much for watching this video. Follow us all over the place. And of course, go to our website, JurassicParkPodcast.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe out there. Be kind to everybody that you come into contact with. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.